going on guys? John Elder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're going to look at scrolled frames for TDK Bootstrap and Kinter. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at scrolled frames. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book in your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com and get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. Okay, in the last video, we looked at scrolled text boxes. In this video, we want to look at scrolled frames for TTK Bootstrap. And it's very similar to scrolled text boxes. If you saw that video, uh, you're probably good to go on this. You're going to pick this up almost immediately. If not, it's going to take like 30 seconds to explain this. should be pretty easy. So this is what we're going to build. Just a very simple app with a frame on it that has a scroll bar. And I just threw some buttons in here just to have something inside of it. And you can see... It scrolls, right? So TTK Bootstrap makes this incredibly easy. In the past with regular Kinter, you had to create an actual scroll bar and kind of add it to a frame. It was very sloppy, very kind of hard to do. With TTK Bootstrap, there's a widget that just comes with it and we could just use it and it's really easy. So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Batch Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK Bootstrap series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file here, I'm calling it scrolled underscore frame dot pi. And it's our basic TTK Bootstrap starter code that we always have. I've imported TTK Bootstrap as TB. We're using the superhero theme and everything else is pretty much normal as usual. So really the only kind of weird thing is we have to import this scrolled frame in order to use it. So let's go from TTK Bootstrap dot scrolled. We want to import scrolled frame. And you'll notice the S and the F in frame are both capitalized, but the scrolled in this is lowercase. So that's really all we have to do. So let's create a scrolled frame. And I'm just going to call this my underscore frame. And this is going to be a scrolled frame. Now, normally we would go like TB dot scrolled frame, something like that, right? With regular TTK bootstrap. But since we're importing this as scrolled frame, we just use scrolled frame right there. So we want to put this in our root. And just like the scrolled text box, you can set the auto hide. So I'm just gonna put this to false. It's false by default. If you wanna actually hide the little scroll bar until you hover over it, and we'll look at that in a minute, you would put true there, but otherwise we're good to go. So uh, you could also put a boot style, but I'm just gonna leave it as the default for now. We'll play with that in just a minute. So let's go my underscore frame dot pack, and let's give this a pad Y of 15. And let's also give this a pad X of 15. And just for fun, I wanna expand this to basically the whole size of our app. So. Let's just go fill equals both and expand equals yes. So that will pretty much blow it up to the entire size of our app. So in order to see this in action, we need to put something in it. So I'm going to create some buttons. Let's create some buttons. And I'm just going to do a quick for loop here. So let's go for X in range. And I'm going to put 20 of these buttons. So we'll put 21 here. And this is just going to be a TV dot button. We want to put it in my underscore frame and let's give this a boot style of what info, something like that. Change the color to light blue for the buttons and let's have the text say, and let's make this into an F string and let's just say, I don't know, click me, something like that. And let's just also put the count. So we'll put an X in there and then let's just pack this guy, give it a pad Y of like 10 to space these out a little bit. So, okay. Now, normally I would never, ever, ever pack on the same line that we're creating the button. But in this case, since we're doing a for loop, it just sort of makes sense. So let's go ahead and save this and run it and see how this looks. So let's head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run Python scrolled underscore frame dot pi. And when we do, we see we've got a bunch of buttons from zero to 20 and we've got this frame and that looks good. Now this is sort of transparent. It doesn't seem like there's anything there. That's because we use the default boot style, right? So we could change the color of that if you want. So let's do that real quick. Up here in our frame, let's just give this a boot style of, I don't know, let's go dark. So if we save this, head back over here, run it again. Now we get a slightly different colored frame. And that's all there is to it. So you'll notice the scroll bar right here that I'm dragging and dropping. 
that is there by default because we set the auto hide to false. If we set that to true, we could come back over here, run this guy again. And now the scroll bar is gone unless we hover over it and boom, there it is. And if we scroll down and then scroll our mouse away again, it disappears again. So maybe you like that, maybe you don't. I'm not a huge fan of that, but uh, you know, whatever. And like I said, we could change the boot style to anything we want. If we want to change this to danger, this is going to look God awful, <laughs> but we could change the whole frame to red. Ah, and then the scroll bar is also red, it has little red arrows and things. And I don't like that one bit. Let's just go ahead and change that back to dark. And I'm also going to change this back to false for the auto hide. So that is really all there is to it. Let's go ahead and save this or you know what? Let's change this to light. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just playing around right now. Run this again. Uh, that's not great looking, but whatever. So that's really all there is to it. Much easier than the old Kinter way of having to actually create a scroll bar, adding it in, setting the configuration stuff. It was just a hassle. PTK Bootstrap makes this so much easier that you have your scrolled frame or your scrolled text box like we did in the last video. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. It's basically the same thing, but instead of a frame, it's a text box. So you can type words and stuff in it and very, very useful and very cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome. Over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes spelled out right in one place. Grab your free copy today. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book. Enter your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. We just added an AI course in there. Check it out. It's very cool. There's a video on the channel about it if you want to know more about it. So use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.